Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're here to discuss the subject of electrical forensics and that is stray voltage. Now these two multimeters have been logging the values of stray voltage for over 24 hours now. And we're going to start off with the meter on the right. Now this is an Amprobe 5XPA and you can see that it's actually indicating a value of 0.9 volts AC maximum. Now we can switch to the minimum and you see that we almost went down to zero. We got 0 0.05 volts AC for the low. And obviously dealing with stray voltage, we're actually interested in the high. So that 0.9 is pretty typical for the weather pattern that has been occurring over the last couple of days. So you're probably wondering why this one is indicating 4 volts AC. Well, this is the UT61E and it has a different function. It's called the peak. And if we cycle through the two values, you'll see that we've got a negative 2.22 volts AC and we've got a positive of 4.003 volts AC. And the reason for such a big difference between the two meters is the UNIT61E is actually recording the peak value of the sine wave. And the reason why we have a positive and negative is because the sine wave has a positive and negative. And the reason why we have such a big difference between the positive and the negative value is because there's a lot of lightning on the system right now. And we're in lightning season here in Tucson, Arizona. And what that does, it actually increases the levels of stray voltage on the system. And that's what the UNI-T is actually recording. So when you get these spikes coming through from lightning strikes in the area, you actually get a much higher voltage on the grounding system. And as you can see, the peak is actually just over 4 volts AC. I thought it was very interesting, but both meters are actually very useful for recording stray voltage values, and we're recording the values across a 500 ohm low resistor for these particular values. And I actually like to use both meters to get a good feel for what is going on on the electrical system over extended periods. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.